Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back for another live today in the OU tier, as is our Monday episode. We uh, built a pretty cool team. Uh, I really like this team. I've been testing it out a little bit. It does pretty well. It's got a couple of weaknesses, but uh, got to overcome those sometimes. But you guys can see already the heat that is this team. Um, Alumberry, uh, Dragonite with uh, Dragon Dance. It hasn't put in much work yet in test games. But I know that this thing can be a monstrous sweeper, uh, given the right conditions. So we try to set up those conditions with the remainder of our Mons, of course. So Mega Deancey right here to bounce back hazards, potentially. Uh, Moonblast, Diamond Storm, Hidden Power Fire, which I've been considering changing because I don't like the minus one speed, uh, bringing it down to 349. So there is that. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to drop this a little bit because there's no point in being 349. Uh, so we'll put a little bit more in attack. So uh, that's that set. Protect, of course. Tentacruel is a very nice answer in this tier to a lot of things. Uh, Mega Metacham, if it's not carrying. Zen Headbutt or Thunder Punch cannot touch this thing uh, very much. Uh, Bullet Punch doesn't do anything. High Jump Kick fails to 2-hit KO with this investment after the Black Sludge recovery. Uh, we have Scald, Rapid Spin, Toxic Spikes are very nice uh, for... Uh, weakening like slow bros and things like that, which we have a hard time dealing with. Uh, Mega slow bro, especially. Sludge wave is nice, and uh, it's, a it's of course it hits uh, Clefable and other fairies. Then we have uh, Hippowdon here with uh, Earthquake, Stealth Rock, Slack Off, and Whirlwind, which is very nice for phasing. With the uh, hazards up from Tentacruel and Hippowdon itself, so nice little uh, balance wall core right here. Got a uh, Magma Storming Heatran, which seems to be my favorite set, but this time we're running it with Power Urban Solar Beam. Uh, to be able to handle uh, Slowbro, which I mentioned before, as well as Rotom Wash. Taunt is there uh, to be able to stall break. Solar Beam is actually also very nice for stall teams with uh, Quagsire on them. Normally, Heatran wouldn't be able to touch Quagsire and risk getting Oko'd by a, an Earthquake from it, so Solar Beam is nice to have to get rid of that. Makes a, the rest of the team function a lot easier without, uh, without Quagsire around, so... Uh, and then finally we have a Life Orb Weavile standard set with Pursuit. Pursuit helps immensely against Latios and Latios, which I don't have many switches to. So uh, this is pretty good. Anyway, uh, it's kind of late, but uh, we'll try to get a couple of games. And uh, I'll actually just pause until we get one because I know this might take a while. So I'll see you guys when we get one. Alright guys, after about 16 years I finally got one. And uh, my opponent has a Volcanion, which is actually very nicely checked by Tentacruel. Uh, Earth Power actually does not two-hit KO even from specs, and uh, Sludge Wave does a lot of damage, so that's very nice. Uh, we got an opposing Mega Deancey, which is why I absolutely hate the fact that we're slower. Um, Landorus, which I haven't actually played yet in test games, uh, but the team can handle it pretty well thanks to Hippowdon as long as it's not set up. Weavile also threatens it out, always. Uh, we got an opposing Weavile, a nice little Mew, and of course, Ferrothorn, which is always a pain. Uh, I think my absolute best lead against my opponent is always Tinnacruel, uh, because it doesn't flat out lose to anything except for the Landorus. Uh, which my opponent does not lead with. He leads with Volcanion instead, which is very nice. I could switch to Dragonite, but I do not want to risk a burn this early. So I am just going to Sludge Wave on the first turn. We're actually faster than his Volcanion, which is nice. Uh, he goes for Earth Power. Never mind. That does do a KO from Specs. I guess my other opponent wasn't a Specs variant. Um, and I thought he was. Uh, but now I could easily switch into Dragonite, so he might want to switch. Uh, in which case, I'm actually just going to Sludge Wave again, as my opponent goes on into Ferrothorn, as expected. Uh, I'm just going to Scald uh, on this turn. It's my best thing to hit this thing with, and uh, potentially get a burn, as we do not. Uh, he will go for the Stealth Rocks. I could easily spin these away, so I don't expect my opponent to stay in. In fact, I'm just going to get up a layer of Toxic Spikes, as my opponent goes into Mew, uh, which is interesting. Psyshock will definitely be able to take us out from this range. Uh, so I do not really want to stay in. I have opportunities to spin on the Volcanion and on the Ferrothorn later. So this is fine. I can get out of here if I choose to. And I think my best play is into Heatran. In fact, now that the Toxic Spike is up... Um, wow, that did a lot. This is offensive, isn't it? Um, potentially. Now that the Toxic Spike is up, the Volcanion is on a timer, so it can't really switch into my Magma Storms. Mew decides to take it instead as he goes for a Roost. Uh, okay, that's fine. I can taunt you now and um, basically keep you from stalling me out. Unless this thing has a Ground-type move, it can't really touch me. So it's just going to have to stay in here on my Magma Storms, take a lot of damage, 
and he's just gonna psychic to whittle me down but we are gonna be able to get rid of this Mew eventually I just have to keep landing these storms which I do luckily and he uh, lowers us down with a crit to about 37% and the Mew is gone which is actually a pretty big issue uh, Heatran is very low though which I'm a little concerned about seeing as it's our answer to Ferrothorn uh, but if Ferrothorn comes in every time I just go for uh, for Magma Storm and get a kill basically uh, something's not appreciating it so his team is extremely fire weak. Uh, the Mega Deancey obviously isn't. Uh, but I have a pretty good response to this in uh, Hippowdon. Should he choose to Earth Power, we will be able to take it and we can threaten him out with an Earthquake. So uh, my opponent is just going to Mega Evolve and go for the Protect uh, to avoid being hit by, I guess, a Flash Cannon, which makes sense. Uh, so I have a couple of plays here. I can go for Stealth Rock, predicting him to switch out into the Landorus, uh, which is a pretty good play. I don't really lose anything by it because the rocks are already up on my side. Uh, my opponent's actually going to choose to Moonblast, which ends up doing a lot of damage. And I don't think we can take another one, so I might have to switch out here. But into what is the question? I don't really have an answer to this. I probably should have just Earthquaked, uh, making a little, a few too many plays here. Um, Weavile can actually uh, knock this thing out with an Icicle Crash after one more round of Poison, which is actually quite surprising. Um, and he doesn't have a very good switch into it either, uh, being as his Ferrothorn takes neutral damage from it. So, mm, not sure. I do have HP Fire for the Ferrothorn on Deancey, so I'm not out of options to get rid of it, per se. So I could technically sack Heatran here, which is exactly what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to keep my Hippo around because I need it for the Landorus. Uh, he is just going to Moonblast. And uh, with a couple more rounds of Poison Weavile, we'll be able to come in here and knock this thing out, so I'm not too concerned. Uh, I am just going to go for the Earth Power here. It's my best play. He goes for a Diamond Storm, which actually has a chance to miss. I guess he has HP Fire on his as well. Uh, but I'm just going to go into Weavile here and pretty much just fire off an Icicle Crash. Uh, I lose nothing by doing that. Uh, I could miss, of course, which would be an issue because then we really can't take this thing out. Um, but my opponent chooses to switch into... Volcanion to get poisoned take the icicle crash and uh, I'm not sure if he actually takes a knockoff from this range I could be wrong though that's a resisted base 85 move which means it would have normally done about 26 if it wasn't resisted yeah no I don't think I can stay in here uh, and I think my best play is to just go into tentacruel to try to get a spin off in case he steam erupts uh, as he's actually going to pull a double into ferrothorn which is quite good as now I can spin as he switches out into Deancey. Awesome. Uh, I guess on a Scald, which I didn't, don't really understand, but anyway. Uh, my opponent is probably just going to Earth Power, so I think I'm going to pull a switch into Dragonite. As my opponent switches out into Ferrothorn. Okay. So that's not bad for us. Um, I can start Dragon Dancing up and get a little bit of damage off on this thing before I bring in Deancey to Hidden Power Fire him, which is nice. Uh, the question is, do I lose to Landorus if he's Scarfed? No, because I have Weavile, and I can Ice Shard him. So yes, I can Dragon Dance here, I believe. We will see the Leech Seed come off here, and now I think I'm just going to start Earthquaking this thing, honestly. Um, I just need some a little bit of damage on it. He goes for Gyro Ball, that's fine. He's going to gain some recovery. Uh, he doesn't have Leftovers on this thing, so that's kind of good. Um, I'm thinking about Dragon Dancing again in case he wants to go into Landorus, but I, th I don't think that's the correct play. He's just going to protect, so that's fine. Uh, and here I'm just going to fire off an Outrage again in case he goes into Landorus. Either way, uh, I go down to the Outrage uh, because of the Iron Barbs, which is better for me. Uh, as he goes for Stealth Rocks, that's fine. Um, again, I can go into Tentacruel uh, and just Rapid Spin these away. Uh, he might just be able to keep going for Stealth Rocks, but I'm actually going to go for Scald right here. Because if I get a burn on this thing, then I'm going to be whittling it down, so that's good. Uh, hopefully he doesn't bring in Volcanion, which he does not. Uh, and I do get a burn, so that's great. Goes for Gyro Ball, that's going to do absolutely nothing now. And with the burn damage, if he doesn't continuously click uh, Stealth Rocks, then we're good to go. Uh, I think he might have predicted me to go for spin and then him go for stealth rocks as I switched into Deancey. Well, no, I'm not Mega Evolved, so that doesn't make much sense. Um, I'm just going to um, probably... Wait, how do I deal with the Weavile? I guess Deancey. Non-Mega Evolved Deancey can handle it. Um, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna go for spin. Attempt to get rid of the rocks. I know I'm taking iron barbs damage, but uh, oh, he's okay. He's rocky helmet. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, do I just throw off a sludge wave here to be able to live? No, I'll die anyway. So I'm better off just. Uh, well, I think my best play is just a sludge wave, just in case the uh, uh, the volcano came in. Uh, but now I can go into Hippo, actually, and get a Slack off. So we're pre we're looking pretty good here. Uh, as my opponent chooses to go out into Deancey, which is fine. I get a Slack off here. And the um, problem is our Mega Deancey is not Mega Evolved. Uh, but I don't think that's ne necessarily a problem. Um, I just don't like that the Ferrothorn is still alive. That is a problem. Uh, I think we can still pull this through. He does 51%. That's fine. We're going to knock him out with an Earthquake. His Volcanion comes in here, knocks us out. We go into Mega Deancey. Uh, we go for an Earth Power. We follow it up with a Moonblast on the, uh, on the Landorus. Yeah, I think we lose this one regardless. Um, because I don't have anything that beats the Weavile if my Deancey gets damaged. So, I didn't keep enough sacks. He's just going to go for the steam eruption. He lands it, uh, which I expected him to. I mean, there's nothing I can really do about that. Um, I mean... Okay, hold on. It's not over yet. Uh, I just have to go for a knockoff here. Knock this thing out. The problem is the sand is going to prevent me from coming back in on rocks after. I'm going to be exactly at 25%. So, I got to get very, very lucky here. We do knock off his choice specs. That's going to get rid of it. And uh, I'm expecting... Yep, there's the Lando. I mean... Is he just going to switch here? I could predict that and go into Deancey. Uh, if he's scarfed, he wins anyway. So I'm just going to shard. Okay, so that, that pretty much tells me he's not scarfed. Right there. Um, goes back into Landorus. So if he's not scarfed, then my best play is probably to icicle crash here, right? Well, no, he might still be scarfed. <laughs> That's the thing. I need a crit ice shard to win. Okay, so he's not scarfed. Hold on. Okay, we had the ice shard damage off. Um, I can't keep this, so I need to go for a uh, for a knockoff right here. And um, unless the NC crits the Landorus, uh, that's pretty much game over. Uh, we do get we do get rid of his choice band. Okay, so he was choice banded. Uh, I'm just going to protect right here. If he's choice banded, ice shard, he's still going to be able to hit us afterwards. Uh, but he doesn't have a life orb or anything like that, so it's not too bad. He does go for the icicle crash over the ice shard right there. I'm just going to go for the moon blast. Uh, he's still faster than us, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm pretty sure his Landorus is uh, is not scarfed. So let's see if we can get... Okay, never mind. <laughs> we were wrong, so that's uh, that's the end of that game. Um, let's move on. I didn't keep enough sacks. That's, that, that was my mistake. I needed one more to be able to win the game. Uh, because I needed to make sure that uh, Weavile didn't take any unnecessary damage there. So I needed to be able to pivot out into something else, but uh, just with the matchup, I couldn't. Uh, the fact that I get I let Heatran get weakened so early was also not a great idea, um, but I had to kill the Mew one way or another. I mean, I could have gone into uh, Weavile on one of the Psychics. I would have taken rock damage anyway, though, so maybe that wasn't the best play. Uh, so against this opponent, I can clearly see the Keldeo leading. Um, it does have a very good matchup against us overall, except against Tentacruel. So again, I think Tentac Tentacruel is just our overall best lead. Uh, if this thing is uh, Rest Calm Mind, it can definitely beat us 1v1. Uh, I'm tempted to just get up a Toxic Spike so that this thing can't come back in later for free. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. His switch here should be into... I would think uh, either Jirachi or... yeah. So it's Jirachi. I'm assuming he's going to go for a heart stamp right here. Uh, I'm just going to go into Hippo, attempt to get up my rocks. If I get up both layers of hazards, we're pretty good to go. And my opponent is just going to U-turn out. Okay, so good play. Uh, probably Keldeo's coming back in here, but if it does, it gets poisoned. Uh, it's the only thing that really takes me out, though, on his team. So he kind of needs to go into it uh, and get it poisoned. Which is why Hippowdon and Tentacruel is such a good defensive core together. Uh, because of Pokemon like Keldeo, uh, even Azumarill and, and things like that. 
they uh, against water types in general in the tier. Uh, Hippodon plus Tentacruel is very very good. So uh, we'll see what he wants to do here. Uh, again, it's it's very he doesn't have any hazard removal. I just noticed, uh, so that's very good. Um, meaning that if we get up the rocks, they're here to stay, and then we're going to be whittling his entire team down. Uh, we don't have a way to hit the Rachi outside of knockoff, which is not reliable because this thing is probably scarfed. So I need to get it in here uh, and magma storm it, probably on uh, lock into Iron Head is the play. So he is going to go into Keldeo. Awesome. So we get this thing poisoned. As you can see, it's taking a lot of damage. I'm going to go right back out into Tentacruel as my opponent predicts that and goes into Alakazam. Uh, this thing isn't Mega Evolved yet, so it's a little bit of an issue. Uh, however, I can go into probably Heatran. Heatran seems pretty solid. Um, Weavile's not bad either because I don't think he's going to focus Blast right here. It'd be a pretty ballsy play in front of a Tentacruel that can just Sludge Wave him. Uh, also, I'm not sure if his Psychic takes us out. Hold on. Um, Tentacruel. Utility, this is pretty much what we are, versus uh, Alakazam. I know he's Mega as well. It's uh, other than Mega Titar, it's his only Mega on his team. Uh, so Psychic has a chance to not take us out. Uh, and Sludge Wave, if I calculate that. Sludge Wave. Uh, <laughs> does exactly the same damage as knockoff. That's actually kind of funny. Um, so yeah, I think uh, I really want to switch into Heatran, but I know it's not safe. That's the thing. Now nah, I have to go for Sludge Wave. All right, so he goes for sub. Awesome. Uh, we're able to break the sub right there. Uh, he doesn't Mega Evolve for some reason. I'm not sure why. I mean, unless this thing really isn't his Mega and he's Mega Titar, but uh, now he's helping me whittle him down. Uh, I very much doubt he's going to sub again at this point. I've showed that I'm ready to sludge wave and just uh, play with rolls. Because, I mean, the roll is in my favor, as you guys can see, 86 to 103. Um, so I do have a very, very good chance of living this with 276 spadef, which is what we are over here. Uh, you guys can't see that, but it's on the calc. And um, if he mega evolves, then that's pretty good. He actually chooses to go into Rachi, so that's fine. I'm actually expecting a U-turn here again. So I'm just going to Scald, uh, as this time he decides to Heart Stamp, and I'm going to Scald again, predicting him to want to switch out on my switch into uh, into either Heatran or Hippowdon. I don't think he's going to Heart Stamp twice. He gains nothing from it. So he does choose to go into Keldeo. That's perfect. Uh, we are going to get off a little bit of extra damage on this thing, call it extra credit, and uh, I do not, I just don't have a switch to this thing, so I absolutely have to go for Sludge Wave right here. As my opponent doubles back into Clefable, which is awesome. This thing is going to take a huge hit. 53% right there. It is a two-hit KO after leftovers, potentially, uh, depending on rolls. So, uh, I'm free to Sludge Wave again. Uh, he can't really... I don't think he can really risk the roll. I want to see how much this actually does uh, to a Clefable. Uh, the standard set. Sludge Wave does... Okay, that's not normal. Uh, why is it doing that little? Um, yeah, that's really strange. I don't get that. How much, uh, yeah, we have no special attack investment. Why, why did that do so little? Uh, I mean, that's, why did that do so much? I guess he's not calm. He must be bold to take on, like, Mega Medicham. Makes sense with his team. Uh, but he does have a Keldeo and, a, and an Alakazam, so, um, yeah. And if he doesn't have any Spadef investment. Uh, okay, so that was a pretty high roll. Uh, he is going to go for Soft Boiled. Our, um, our last Sludge Wave, the one that we just fired off, did 49%. Um, but, I mean, I can just keep Sludge Waving him here. As that one did 57, which is pretty strong. And uh, we're just gaining Leftovers Recovery at this point. I mean, he's just helping us out. Um, I really want to get up my rocks against this guy. Because he's switching around a lot. So I'm just going to go into Hippo here. Because uh, it doesn't... Uh, do me anything to stay in. He's going to go into Rachi this time, so that's awesome. We are going to be able to get up our rocks right here. He cannot stay in on a potential Earthquake. It would do a tremendous amount to him. He could try to flinch us down, but if he goes for Iron Head, I have a perfect switch back into Tentacruel. We haven't seen anything in else th this game. Hippowdon and Tentacruel have been putting in so much work. <laughs> it's insane. Uh, he chooses to go into Landorus. This is fine, as I have Whirlwind. And uh, we will be able to get him out of here. This is probably his Rocker. I assume this is defensive. And, uh, I mean... It's starting to look like his uh, Titar is actually his Mega at this point. 
Luckily, we got up that Toxic Spike. So he is set up Landorus. Okay, cool. So we're going to Whirlwind this thing out. We're going to do a little bit of extra damage to uh, Jirachi with the Stealth Rocks. That's kind of why I wanted them up as well, was for this thing. Uh, I'm just going to Whirlwind. Uh, I also need two uh, Dragon Dances with uh, Dragonite to be able to outspeed the Jirachi. Um, a Scarf Jirachi, of course. And with two Dragon Dances up, I can probably take out my opponent's entire team at this point. Uh, because of how weak it is. Landorus is still a little bit of an issue, but, I mean, he's not defensive, so... Uh, I am just gonna try to slack off here. He's gonna go for another Iron Head. Uh, as I get flinched again. I'm gonna go into, uh... Actually, he trends better here. I think. Uh, cause if he goes into... What would he go into on my Tentacruel? Probably... Alakazam? Goes for the Iron Head, does absolutely nothing to Heatran. I mean, he can try to keep flinching us down, but it's not really going to do anything. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Magma Storm at this point. If he wants to bring in Titar, he gets uh, poisoned, takes Stealth Rocks, takes the Magma Storm, and takes the residual damage from the Magma Storm on the following turn. So, Titar is not the play. Uh, as you guys can see, <laughs> you guys are about to see what's going to happen to this Titar if we connect this Magma Storm, which we do. Takes a crit, 27%. It's going to take poison and the Magma Storm damage, so it's down to 36%. Uh, on that turn, so I can just go into Hippowdon now um, after the next round of Poison um, Plus like even if he Dragon Dances, it doesn't matter. He's actually banded uh, Titar, which is good to know uh, As I can probably switch in Deancy here is pretty safe As we are not Mega Evolved, we should be able to take this crunch no problem and uh, I can probably just protect here and let him go down to Poison uh, I'm gonna Mega Evolve and protect on this turn. That's fine. Uh, his T-Tar can't come back in on rocks, so it's just a sack at this point. Uh, we will be able to outspeed a Spex Keldeo, which I haven't calced yet. I don't think he ever hit us, as a matter of fact. Uh, I have to check that out, but... Uh, if he, he goes into Lando, we know we outspeed him because he's not a, uh, he's not a defensive variant. Um, and Keldeo comes in, which is Screaming Scarf, and my op opponent forfeits. So that's going to be the end of that game. We played that one a lot better than the first one, so... Uh, really happy at uh, all the work that Tentacruel and Hippowdon put in. Now is going to be the real test, because my opponent has both a Mega Metacham and a Keldeo, which blows our defensive core out of the water. So, got to be very, very careful with that. Um, I can pretty safely lead with Hippowdon for the chip damage on the Metacham, which I would expect it to be his lead. Um, he, might just, uh, sli he might just fake out here. Um, I don't know what I want to do here. Uh, Deancey might be a play. He probably has Bullet Punch. Uh, I need to scout his set. This is like the thing I'm the weakest to. Like in the entire metagame. Uh, I have to go for Earthquake right here, actually. As my opponent goes for Fake Out. Uh, a high jump kick does not take us out. And I want to see how much an Earthquake does to Medicham. I know it's a little bit bulkier than regular Medicham, so I can definitely take this. I'm just going to check for Hip Poudon. Mixed Wall takes uh, takes the high jump kick just fine. Uh, Earthquake is only doing 51 to 61, so that's a little bit of an issue. I don't like that. Um, I can maybe slack off the high jump kick damage. Uh, if he gets a low roll, then we're still about, at about the same percent. So that's a uh, that's an option. I'm just going to Earthquake, actually. He's going to go for the high jump kick. He does seem to be adamant, because that did a lot more than our calc said. Uh, let me actually just check that. Yeah, it should be adamant. Uh, and he got a high roll as well on an Adam and high jump kick. Uh, I can just go into Tentacruel now. I don't have a ghost on this team, so uh, he predicts that and goes for Psycho Cut. So very good play. Psycho Cut, all right. Interesting option. I like it. Um, now my play is into Dragonite and just go for the E-Speed. He does not have a very good switch on his team in general. Um, however, I'm actually going to predict the Clefable probably to come in here or the Jirachi either one is fine and I'm gonna go back in a hippo and he actually chooses to go into Lando so this is okay too because I can slack off the damage I'm pretty sure I can take a uh, an earthquake unless he's like really really offensive uh, he actually chooses to toxic us which is a very cool play I'm just gonna get up rocks at this point this is another opponent that does not have hazard removal but at this point neither do we so uh, this Landorus is actually gonna be a little bit of an issue to deal with uh, I'm going to whirlwind right here as he can uh, only Earthquake us. Uh, I am going to eventually go down to Toxic. The Metacham comes back in, and I do not have Sand Up, so this is pretty much goodbye for Hippowdon. 
Uh, fake out, high jump kick, psycho cut. Would you be unable to touch opposing Landorus? What do you have for that? Like offensive Landorus, you, 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 he doesn't have a switch in pretty much on his team. So I don't understand why he would be uh, bullet punch. I'm thinking he's ice punch as his last move, that's why, guys. Uh, I'm going to attempt a whirlwind right here as his high jump kick connects. All he had to do was go for a psycho cut, but that's okay. Um, Deancey's safe-ish. I say safe-ish very loosely. Uh, nothing is really safe at this point except for Dragonite because of the E-speed. But, um, yeah, and I think that's what I have to go for. I can't, because he can high jump kick or bullet punch my entire team uh, with my two defensive walls gone. So... I have to go for an E-speed right here as my opponent chooses to go out into Landorus. That's fine. Uh, I'm actually just going to go for the... Huh. Hold on a sec. Uh, Yeah, no, I have to go for the Dragon Dance. He goes for Toxic. We are Lum, so we are going to be able to cure that off. Uh, and I can go for another one if I choose to. That'll make me outspeed the Jirachi, uh, as well as being able to knock out the Keldeo, potentially. He can also miss a Toxic. Yeah, that's what I have to do. I have to go for Dragon Dance right here. My opponent goes for another Toxic. That's fine. We're going to be taking 6, 12, 18, 24. We still don't drop on the 24, I think. So I'm going to go for Outrage right here. Uh, knock out his Landorus. Uh, that was a big issue. He can go into his Clefable for free now because we are locked into Outrage. He was actually Rocky Helmet, so we will not be able to live uh, the 24 round of Poison. We will live the next turn, uh, but it doesn't matter because Clefable comes in for free anyway. So, um, Luckily, okay, he goes into Metacham instead to fake me out. Makes sense. And uh, now I guess we find out if he has Bullet Punch. Well, I mean, I have Ice Shard, right, on Weavile? So that's not terrible. I just have to uh, predict the switch, I guess. Uh, that's really my only play. Yep, I gotta go Weavile. And uh, the Keldeo, if it's Scarf, just wins at this point. I cannot do anything about that. Uh, it needs to, like, miss a Scald. <laughs> that's pretty much all I can hope for. Uh, I am just gonna go for the Ice Shard right here. Uh, knock out the Metacham. Probably went for Bullet Punch. And my opponent's gonna go into Rachi. I'm assuming Scarfed. Uh, it's probably just going to U-turn as well, so I'm just going to go into Heatran. I don't have a choice. Uh, i got to try to uh, win somehow, uh, which I don't think I can at this point. But my opponent's, uh, my opponent's just going to go into Keldeo and just win, I think, <laughs> with our defensive core blown back by Mega Medicham. Uh, I definitely need to improve this team a little bit, maybe get a better wall for Meta Mega Medicham than uh, Tentacruel, um, just because it is a Psychic type, so it can hit me. I don't have anything for this. I do not have anything for this. Uh, Heatran is my best chance at winning this game. So I need to keep it. I need to go into Weavile. And uh, really hope that his Keldeo is not Scarfed. Uh, I'm just assuming it is, though. Uh, the way he brought it in. I think he's just going to win with it. We're just going to protect right here. He can pretty much stay in with his Keldeo. He loses absolutely nothing. Should he switch out into Jirachi on this turn? We may have a shot. Because that pretty much means his Keldeo is not Scarfed. So, we will see. We will see what's going to happen. Uh, if his Jirachi comes in, I can protect as well. So, that's not an issue. If he stays in, we're good. If he switches out to Rachi, we're okay as well. Again, I can just protect to see what move he goes for. He is most definitely Scarfed. Uh, any other variant normally doesn't carry U-turn, so I'm not even questioning that. Um, the thing is, we have to play 50-50s, like, if he goes for Iron Head on my Protect, is he gonna stay in? Probably not, he's gonna go back into Keldeo to knock out my Heatran, so I would go for the Moon Blast. So, I'm thinking a couple of turns ahead. Uh, the way I win this game is, uh, Deancey critting the, uh, Clefable <laughs> with a Moon Blast. Like, that's really my only way to win. Um, well, Heatran can win too on its own. The problem is Sucker Punch from, um, from Bisharp. Uh, Sucker Punch versus Knock Off is just way too hard. Uh, obviously, we're max speed, so he would have to go for a Sucker Punch. Um, but I can go into Deancey on that, so we'll see, though. My opponent's taking a while to pick his play, which means I'm pretty sure he's actually not Scarfed. Uh, it would make sense for him to not be Scarfed, actually, because he's Scarfed Rachi. So maybe I should rethink this play. No, I think I still have to protect one way or another. 
because around Scarfed Rachi, like I said, I can play 50-50s, uh, but not around uh, Scarfed Keldeo. So I can't play 50-50s with Keldeo. I have to make sure that uh, I'm always in with Deancey against the Keldeo. Always. 100% of the time. So I can't uh, I can't lever, ever, ever let in Rachi, um, let in Keldeo on my Heatran, because then I just lose. So... We'll see. We'll see uh, what happens right here. Uh, my opponent might just time out because there's 30 seconds left, so this might be the most anticlimactic game we've ever seen on the channel. <laughs> I would really suck for a last battle. Uh, we are at 30 minutes, though, so this is going to end the battle, and uh, then I have to edit this and everything. Oh, it's so late. Why do I do this to myself, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh well, uh, so we are going to be able to pick up this win right here guys uh, Unfortunately, I, my opponent uh, had to go wash some dishes or something. So that's gonna be it uh, If you guys enjoyed uh, we did get two wins and one loss even though it was unconventional uh, This is what happens when you play this late at night. I'm really uh, my schedule at work is actually changing guys uh, I'm going to be able this is not going to affect my uploads or anything It's not going to change the fact that they go up uh, at 10 30 a.m. Roughly every day um, for my lives, but it is going to affect the fact that I am going to be playing against people during the evening rather than late at night. So I'm going to get more quality games. Players like uh, Blunder and PokemonMD and uh, Jamvad and like the biggest uh, showdown players are normally around at those times. So, well, normally they're around even earlier, but you have a better chance of catching them than at this hour at night. Uh, it's currently 4 a.m. if you're wondering, so uh, that is going to affect the quality of the games that we get and everything, so that's very, very nice. Uh, I was always finishing at 8 p.m. I would get home, uh, eat a little something. By the time I would start recording after like talking to the guys in the NBA, it would be like 11 p.m., so you start getting less and less quality games. So um, that's it, guys. Um, that's going to be it for this live. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Facebook. Both are in the description down below, as always, every episode. And uh, also leave a comment for me. Let me know what you thought about the team. How you think we can improve it. Because uh, I think there are definitely some... Uh, some points lacking, especially on the Keldeo resists. <laughs> um, Tentacruel is very good, but it gets bodied by Mega Metacham, so. Uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Ciao.